knows Corey from his shop, and he wants him to do some crazy artwork. Hey, hey what's you? up? How you doing? <laughs> you met Cam? Who's Cam? Yeah, hi, Cam. How, how you doing? doing? I just wanted to come in and get this done. Uh, Rad, yeah, dude. The Michael Husser piece. Yeah. This is creepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the tattoo I'm getting today is my favorite painting. Uh, it's called Self-Portrait of Hans Memling. This is a painting done by Michael Husser of Hans Memling, who's actually a painter himself from like the 1400s. Is that, he was just a painter? Yeah, he was a painter back then, but there's no known self-portrait of him. So Michael is just pretty much... He just created him. Tried to get of inside of his head. And... We paint with this guy once in a while. Yeah, we go over and do paintings at his house. Dave introduced me to Michael Hussar, and we've gone over there and just had like little painting sessions, little classes, and Mike's like such a cool guy. He like actually teaches us stuff. Do you want to do it in color or black and gray? I'm gonna go with what you would suggest for that. I don't know if I'd want to blast all that solid white on somebody. I just think you have to make every color a little bit darker than what, or a little more dynamic and, and bolder than what you actually want it to be. Yeah, personally, I think it'll pop just doing it in black and gray. Perfect. So what do, you, what do you think of the new shop, dude? It's awesome. It's way different. Yeah. It's pink. Yeah, it's very pink. It's unbelievable. It's basically what we're looking at. <laughs> Almost looks worse there, huh? <laughs> yeah. The tattoo I'm getting today is called Self-Portrait of Hans Memling. He looks rad, dude. It's be nice when you go get a job. Uh, will you hire me? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Why'd you get this piece? It's my favorite painting of Mike Husser's. Just how wicked and dark it is. The painting looks like a nun that's been beat up. It's kind of a darker image of this person, but it follows the artist's style quite a bit. How did you meet uh, Mike? I met Mike at one of his art shows. After meeting him, I went to a few of his workshops. He's pretty much like a master painter to me, like the Renaissance-style painters, but he paints really dark images. Hi. Hello. Hello. Here's the court. Michael Bissar walks in with the real painting, yeah. and for a second, I just felt this, oh no, it's gonna look like crap. Man. <laughs> I looked at the painting and I felt really good. I don't feel bad. I think I might like yours a little bit better. <laughs> that oh. is sick. Man, I gotta get over there again. I need some inspiration. Yeah. Last time I went over there, it was just like, I was supercharged. I've got this girl coming into town. She'll be here for three, four days, and we got a painter. She's amazing. To be able to escape and get into painting, that's probably one of the most inspiring things I can do at the moment. Sign that sketch for me, will you? I want to take yeah. that with. <laughs> he asked me for the tracing, and I was really more than happy to give it to him. Hey, that is awesome. Thanks, man. I can't wait. I'm going to get over there as soon as I can yeah. to do some painting. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, uh, next couple days, I'll let you know. It's a blessing to be able to go over there and paint. Yeah. All right, dude. We are done. Oh my God. It's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, cool, man. Unbelievable. It looks just like it. Corey took something that was a color painting and did it in black and white. It looks almost identical to the painting somehow. I had my own notion the way the tattoo would come out, and it's by far way better than that. When I see my tattoo, it's going to be inspiring. I get to carry it on my arm all the time. Take it easy, Corey. Bye-bye. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up, man? Come on, man. Let's get to work. <laughs> cool. Hey, what's, what's up? up? <laughs> How's it going, Corey? How's it going, man? Hey, look at that man. piece. Yep. Damn. Looking great. Dave called me tonight, and we're finally hooking up yeah. to paint with Good Michael Hussar. I hope to gain some energy, just some magic. This project is a la prima, which means all at once. And it's about starting a painting and finishing it in one setting. Do you like what I got in there? Do I need, what do I need more of? Than uh, more green. More of this, this olive? Yeah, more of the olive. Mike's an amazing painter, and uh, I'm really fortunate to hook up with him. And what is he painting right now, the background? This is just, it's just a wash. It becomes Over the, the whole thing? Even Over the whole thing, yeah. Over the whole thing, yeah. And everything? Yeah, you know what we're really doing is just developing space. Painting is such a friggin' tree. It's mine. It's something that, like, nobody comes in and says, oh, I want this or I want that. It's usually something for myself. And to get around other artists is amazing. Hey, Corey, can I jump in there for a second? Yeah, Check. man. I'm going to just do one thing on there. Sure. Uh, please set up that. Set up, I just want to set up the sockets. This is a total learning process. And at 40, I'm probably more willing and uh, anxious to learn right now than I ever was when I was in high school or in the age of college. And come in and drop in a more sort of defined, kind of distinct, 
for a shadow shape. Dude, it's amazing, those little tiny lines you put on there just... It's weird, once you hit it in one spot, you, all of a sudden you recognize it, yeah, you hit it in a yeah. whole bunch of other places. This is such a privilege. This is art in the occult sense. Not in the dark side, just the, the uh, sense of everybody's minds coming together. I'm so stoked, I really appreciate you letting me come hang out, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. I will spend my energy and do this and deal with exhaustion tomorrow at work, and it's totally worth it.